How often are you driving down the road and you happen to look at a billboard with a function on it? And that function has an x squared term. And you wonder to yourself, gee, I wonder what the graph of that function looks like. Well, today is your lucky day because I am going to tell you all about parabolas. And whenever you have an x squared term, your graph is going to look like a parabola. And a parabola is basically the shape of a U or an upside down U. Let's get into some uh, specifics about parabolas. Now whenever you have a positive x squared term, so if you had f of x equals let's say x squared or x squared plus 2x plus 1 or uh, x squared plus Whenever the x squared term is positive, you know your parabola is going to be a normal facing u with these uh, arrows at the end pointing upwards. Let's quickly identify some important uh, aspects of a parabola. First, do we notice is this point way at the bottom. This point here is known as the vertex. And um, a line, a vertical line, passing through the vertex is known as the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry. And this line serves basically as a mirror. Notice, these points are directly across from each other. One side mirrors the other side. Uh, another important point we notice here is the y-intercept where the parabola crosses the y-axis. And lastly, um, something else uh, unique about the vertex in this case, since it's the very bottom point, the vertex is also known as the minimum of the function. The minimum of the function. So again, we have our vertex, the point um, the very uh, point where each side extends out from. Also, since it's a uh, positive x squared term, this is a minimum, the very lowest point. We have the y-intercept, where the parabola crosses the y-axis, and the line that, that extends vertically through the vertex that serves as a mirror uh, for each side of the parabola, that's known as the axis of symmetry. Let's take a look at some cases where we have a negative x squared term. So, if we had, say, a negative x squared, or f of x equals negative 2x squared minus 3, or if we had negative x squared plus 7x plus 2, all of these graphs are going to uh, be facing the opposite direction. These arrows are going to be both facing down, and we have an upside down u. Again, let's identify some important parts of this parabola. Here, the very highest point where uh, the arrows extend from, this is also known as the vertex. In this case, since it's the highest point, the vertex is also called the maximum, which makes sense because it is the maximum height. Uh, it is the point at the highest uh, point on the graph. We've also got the y-intercept, just like before. The y-intercept, and again, we have our line going through the vertex, uh, and that is known as our axis of symmetry.